how much more lazy can you be when your job is making YouTube videos and you do it from your bed? I don't know, but I'm gonna try and find out. So today, a pretty random uh, video. I wanted to uh, show you guys some uh, Pokemon cards. I know some of you guys, 90s kids, uh, or like me, I was actually born in the 80s, but I was a 90s kid. And so we played with Pokemon cards. It was like a, a big thing for a while. And a friend who's a little younger than me and he uh, collects, he still collects Pokemon cards, which I mean, they're still adults who do it. I don't really collect them. I mean, I still have uh, a few old ones that I had from when I was about 12 or something. And so he said, can I buy some? And I said, sure. When you're a kid, this thing is really nice. And actually, you know, looking back at these now, uh, this is a little collection of shiny ones, meaning, you know, the nicer ones that you can get. Obviously, you guys who are looking at this probably have, you know, you probably know what a shiny Pokemon card is. So uh, the shinies here, even now as an adult, I'm 27 now. And looking at these, they're still really beautifully made. Um, and, you know, I've seen some of the newer ones and I looked at them and I thought, wow, that's pretty ugly. So uh, most of these that you see right here are not worth much. You will actually get people buying them on eBay. Uh, you know, so there, there are pretty much all of these are available on eBay. Uh, and you, if you put them up on eBay, there's a pretty good chance someone will buy them because there's still collectors around. Uh, I'm not sure if most of the collectors are my age, meaning they used to play with them when they were a kid or whether there's new kids who are getting into them. I'm not sure. But, or, you know, maybe it's a mix of both. But there are a few that are actually worth... A decent amount of money. I mean, like some of these are worth like, you know, on eBay, uh, they're worth like a pound or some of them are worth absolutely nothing. But, you know, some of these nicer ones, like shiny ones, maybe first edition ones are worth like a pound, two pounds, five pounds. A few of them are worth 10 pounds and a very, very small selection are worth more than 10 pounds. Uh, I actually sold um, a total of, because I mean, I sold quite a few uh, yesterday. Because, uh, I mean, like I said, with most of these, I don't have any sort of uh, sentimental connection. I think they look pretty, but I don't really care that much. So I actually sold £84 worth of Pokemon cards, and we based them just on, you know, we both looked on the computer on eBay prices, what was actually uh, the current price. And then I obviously lowered it, because he was buying it in person and stuff, so I wasn't doing full eBay price. So it was like um, a bit lower than eBay price, or some of them I did much lower than eBay price. And... Uh, the ones that I wanted to actually keep, there were, I think there were actually three or five that he wanted to buy. And I said, no, you know what? Those like are actually like memories from when I was a kid. Um, whereas most of these, eh, I don't really care. I mean, they, they look kind of nice because they're shiny, but whatever. Uh, but okay, so here, um, this one, I'm not sure if I care that much about this one. But uh, there's a few here that, looking at these now, even as an adult, I find them really pretty. And also, I mean, uh, they've got sort of memories connected to them. Uh, not necessarily specific memories. Uh, I mean, I remember buying this one with my mom. A lot of these, you know, I traded or whatever. I didn't actually end up buying many packs myself. Um, I mean, I did buy some. But uh, this one, I seem to remember I traded. Uh, this uh, Pichu. And then uh, this one, also I remember I traded with a friend, I think. And... To some people, you know, this this looks really pretty. Just, I'm, I'm sure some of you are watching this going, what the hell? Those are just stupid pieces of paper. And yeah, I mean, they are. But um, they're kind of collector's items. All the ones you see here are not worth much. Uh, I think a few of these are worth about £10. Uh, these, which are from the original uh, 100 Pokemon. You can see here which set they came from. So this was the original 100. This was, there was an extra 150 added afterwards. Uh, but these are still quite early. This one is the first 100 and then the two, the, the extra 150. But all of these are fairly early, meaning when I was still a kid, um, these were around. And uh, so I think these two are worth about a tenner each. The other ones, maybe not quite as much, maybe sort of uh, five pounds or something. So there's not something very valuable here. I did have one card that was expensive. I didn't really want to get rid of it because I actually read online that uh, it, there's a chance that it might go up in value, you know, in like 50 years or whatever. And that was a Charizard uh, in good condition, you know, a shiny one. But it was worth £35 as, as one card that was worth £35. Uh, it's not super rare, but, you know, it has it has value. Um, so I was and, and the guy really wanted to buy it. So I said, you know what? Why not? Go for it. I'll most likely only keep these, uh, sorry, not five, these six. Because, I don't know, I, I find them really nice, uh, really pretty and aesthetic. Now that brings up an interesting question. 
This one, I don't have shiny, which is nice and it's not actually worth much. I could easily just spend the £2.50 and just order one on eBay if I wanted to. And then I would complete the set of these three and uh, this one is sort of related. But uh, does that, you know, as an adult, do I do that? I mean, it's not that it's a problem to do, but do I actually spend money on a piece of paper that is essentially just paper? I mean, do I do that? I mean, it's kind of a strange thing. Like, I, I'm not a collector. I don't buy, not since I was a kid, I don't spend money on things I don't need most of the time. So, do I? I mean, because it would be nice to have, but then it has no practical use other than to just look at it and go, ooh, nice. And does that make me a collector again? As much as I can, I try and get rid of stuff rather than, you know, like I sell loads of stuff on eBay. Anything that's not in use gets sold on eBay. So let me know in the comments, do you guys still collect Pokemon cards or do you not care about them anymore? Do subscribe because lots more random stuff coming up soon on this channel, which is my second channel. I'll put links below to my other channels. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.